Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing pie chart data interpretation. First, read the information carefully. After that, we need to solve the questions according to that. Here the information is given as, study the following pie chart carefully and answer the questions given below. Look at the information. Percentage of students enrolled in different hobby classes in a school. Here it is very clear that the pie chart is uh, uh, pie chart is about percentage of students. How much percentage of students are enrolled in different hobby classes uh, in a school? And one more information is given as total number of uh, students. Total number of students in the school that is. Uh, 3600 3600 that is total number of students uh, in a school and uh, different uh, hobby classes one is singing dancing painting stitching drama classes and uh, cooking classes uh, total six different hobby classes are there how much percentage of uh, students are enrolled for those uh, uh, six different hobby classes uh, this is the given information. By this information, it is very easy to calculate each and every hobby, uh, in each and every hobby class, uh, how many students are uh, now enrolled. That is the given information. Now, first, look at the first question. Based on the information, you need to solve the questions. Uh, each and every information. Once you understand this particular information, problem solving is not a difficult task. Okay. Here the question is, what is the ratio of the number of students enrolled in singing and dancing together? Singing and dancing together. Singing and dancing together. Dancing together. And uh, we need to calculate the ratio. Singing plus dancing together to those enrolled in uh, drama. Drama classes. Uh, so, this is the ratio we need to calculate. First look at what is singing percentage. That is 18 percentage. What is dancing percentage? 21 percentage. And next drama. Drama is 13 percentage. Drama is 13 percentage. Now calculate the ratio for this. 18 plus 21. 18 plus 21 which is 39 right. 39 percentage is to 13 percentage. So, you can cancel with 13 table. 13 threes are 13 ones. 3 is to 1. The required ratio becomes 3 is to 1. That is the ratio of uh, singing and dancing together and drama classes. 3 is to 1 which is option A. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Now, look at the second question. Same information. See the second question. Number of students enrolled in painting classes, painting classes which is 15% uh, are approximately what percent of those who enrolled in singing classes. Uh, here you are calculating the approximate percentage, approximate percentage. When you are calculating the approximate percentage, uh, you are calculating the percentage of number of students enrolled in painting classes. It means uh, painting divided by, you are comparing with what? You are comparing with singing classes. Painting students are what percent of uh, singing students? As you are calculating percentage into 100 percent symbol is common thing. Now look at the painting classes students. Here painting is 15 percentage. 15 percentage of total number of students are 3600 divided by. Next uh, singing. Singing is uh, 18 percentage. 18 percentage of 3600 into 100 percentage. Now if you look at the information in the numerator and in the denominator. 3600 by 100, 3600 by 100. These two are common. So, directly you can cancel these two without any hesitation. After that, you can cancel with uh, 15 by 18. It means uh, 3 fives are 3 six times. And next, uh, 2 threes are 
two fifties, which is equal to fifteen to five, two fifty, two fifty divided by three. That is your required answer. Here two fifty by three, which is nothing but eighty three one by three percentage. Eighty three one by three percentage. But as we are calculating the approximate value, so this value is approximately equal to eighty three percentage. 83 percentage is the required approximate percentage. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. And uh, remember, while you are solving the same kind of uh, problems in uh, uh, examination point of view, especially, don't write these values. Don't write these values. Why? Because these values are common for both numerator as well as denominator. Directly, you can write. Painting value fifteen and the singing value eighteen. Fifteen by eighteen into hundred. Only this one step you need to write in the examination point of view, so that it will take uh, less time to solve the problem. Instead of writing all these values directly, you can write down like this. You will get the answer in a less time. Okay. Next one. What is the Total number of students enrolled in stitching and drama classes together. Drama and stitching together. Drama plus stitching. Okay. Drama plus stitching. That is the uh, question he is asking about. Drama is thirteen uh, percentage. Drama is thirteen percentage and stitching classes. Uh, Stitching classes eleven percentage. Stitching. Stitching classes eleven percentage. As we are calculating together, which is equal to twenty four percentage. Thirteen plus eleven that is twenty four percentage. What is twenty four percentage value? Twenty four percentage of three thousand six hundred. That is the total number of uh, students. Uh, so two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. Now you can multiply thirty-six and twenty-four. Uh, six four is twenty-four, and next uh, this is twelve. Four three is twelve. Twelve plus twelve, twenty-four. Twenty-four plus uh, two, twenty-six. Again two carry three two is six. Six plus two eight. Eight sixty-four. Eight sixty-four. Eight sixty-four is the required answer for this question. Eight sixty-four. Once look at the options. Option D is the right answer. Eight sixty four. Option D. Next one. How many students are enrolled in painting classes? How many students are enrolled in painting classes? Here it is very clear that total fifteen percentage of students are enrolled for painting classes. What is fifteen percentage of three thousand six hundred? Here two zeros two zeros again cancel. Thirty-six into fifteen. Here thirty-six tens are three sixty, and half of that value again one eighty. Three sixty plus one eighty, which is equal to five forty. Or else, if you want to multiply these two, you will get uh, the same result five forty. Five forty. That is the required answer. Okay. Three sixty plus half of that value. Here thirty six tens three sixty thirty six fives one eighty three sixty plus one eighty five forty that is our answer five forty option B is the right answer option B. Last question in this session. See here the info the question is the number of students enrolled in cooking classes cooking classes that is twenty two percentage is what percent of those Enrolled in dancing classes. Dancing is twenty-one percentage. In the given, uh, in the given question, there is some additional information in the bracket. Rounded off to two digits after the decimal point. Here the question is: uh, Cooking classes is what percent of those are dancing? So you need to calculate the percentage as cooking divided by dancing. Cooking divided by Dancing, and one more thing. Just now I told uh, in the previous slides, uh, don't try to write down the entire value of this one. 
cooking is equal to how much percentage? 22 percentage. Don't write 22 by 100 into 3600. Why? Because in the denominator also you will, you, you will get uh, that particular by 100 and uh, into 3600. So directly you can write down cooking is 22 percentage, dancing is 21 percentage into 100 percentage. Now you can calculate this one. Double two double zero divided by 21. Here it is uh, 21 once are 21. Next one is there. One zero. It will not cancel. Zero. Next 100. 100 means 21 fours. Uh, 21 fours are 84. Still uh, 16 will be left over. 160. 160 means uh, 21 sevens. Uh, 147. Again, uh, 13 will be left over. 130. 130 means uh, 21, 6, 126. Therefore, our required answer is what? 104.76. Uh, according to the question, we need to calculate uh, after the decimal point up to two digits. Two digits after the decimal point. Uh, therefore, we got the resultant percentage as 104.76. That is our required answer for this question. Here 104.76, we have only one option with the 104. In case none of these option is not there in the given question, in that case, you can go with option B even after getting 104 point something. Okay, directly you can keep the answer like this. In case uh, the options are having, multiple options are having with 104, then you have to calculate till after uh, up to two digits uh, after the decimal point. Here the answer is option B. Option B is the right answer. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And thank you. Thanks for watching.